This is gonna be interesting. You guys, this was a fucking whole experience. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for all the support that you're giving me on my vlogs. I've always wanted to film vlogs and now I can and I am so happy to make them. Um, but to keep it very real with you guys, um, today's Wednesday and for tomorrow's upload, which is Thursday, I normally upload on Thursdays, um, I was planning on uploading a video on like all the books that I read in August and you probably know that English is my second language so for some reason when I try to film like recommendation videos or monthly reading wrap-ups explaining books like it just does not work for me like it's so hard for me to explain books like I try my best to explain things the best way that I can and for some reason, when I try to explain books, it just does not work. I cannot put like all the details into one story and just tell it to you guys. And it's really frustrating, honestly. So I tried filming that video like five times and it took me like an hour and a half. And at the end of it, I was just like so frustrated and like mad at myself for not being able to explain a book. So. I decided that I was just gonna let it go. This month I was not gonna make that video. And instead I'm gonna film my reading vlog for Daisy Jones and the Six, which I am buddy reading with two of my book talk friends. Um, I'm buddy reading it with Crystal, which her ad name is Crystal's Library, and also with Sarah, which her ad is Cabbage Water, and I am beyond excited to read this book. If you are like in the book talk world, you kind of know like Steph's stories. You probably know her. She raves about this book so much. It's like one of her favorite books, and Taylor Jenkins Reid is like her favorite author and I just feel like I need to read the book because because I trust her recommendations and I feel like I'm gonna like this book by the way if you notice that I change outfits um, it's because I do really change outfits like four times a day um, but yeah just so you know it's the same day um, let's go straight into reading because I cannot wait Okay, okay, okay. I am 15 pages in and I am loving this. I am so hooked already. I know I'm gonna finish this book like maybe today or tomorrow. Okay, so what I'm about to tell you, I don't know if it's a spoiler or anything or if I spoiled it for myself, but before reading this book, I had no idea like it was based on a real story and like a rock band in the 70s. Like I did not know that, but um, I googled the rock band because I thought it was real only to get to an article that says that it's all fiction and I did not know that but that's okay I'm just very like shocked because of how real like the interviews are and like what the main characters say oh my gosh this is so good already I just know this is gonna be one of my favorite books so good you guys i am shocked and i cannot believe i'm just 15 pages in like honestly honestly the last book that i felt like i was hooked since like the first 10 pages was it ends with us this is gonna be interesting so let's keep reading <laughs> Okay guys, I am in page 45 and I cannot express how much I am loving this book. Like this book is so well written, but it's also so easy to understand. Okay, so basically from what I can tell, this book has like sections. So it has like um, from this date to this date. It kind of has like the point of view of like Daisy Jones and then the other point of view of like the band members of Daisy Jones and the Six. You kind of get to see like each character and there's so much like 
buildup to everything and it's so detailed and it's so great and i honestly love it because um the entire book is based off of like interviews so they're just like little sections of like different people what they're saying it kind of keeps me interested in what like each character has to say i'm going to stop reading because i have an appointment but when i get back i'm going to keep reading obviously and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like finish this book today because I'm really loving it and when I love a book I just want to finish it so quickly I am so mad at one of the main characters okay update I'm in the page 65 I don't want to say the name because when you start reading you're gonna know what happened and like <laughs> it's also funny because when a character makes you mad or sad or whatever you know it's a good character you know it's well written I'm gonna keep reading Okay guys, sorry for the bad lighting, but every time I update you guys, I tell you that I love this book. Okay, so my last update was me being mad at one of the main male characters um but i'm not mad anymore but he's kind of like in probation let's just say but besides that i just love like the daisy jones character she is like fierce she knows what she wants and she gets what she wants and yeah i'm on page 115 and yes i do like read very very slowly but I honestly feel like I've been reading forever like I feel like I've read at least like 200 pages like I'm, I'm not kidding I don't know if it's like the writing style because every single like page is multiple point of views and like multiple interviews I'm loving it you guys I, I understand the hype I'm also buddy reading this book but honestly I love like sharing my thoughts with other people that are reading the same book that I am. It just feels so good to talk to someone about the book while you're reading it because you're kind of like feeling all of these emotions. And also my second coping mechanism is doing my reading vlogs because I just need to get my emotions out. So this is the perfect way. So yeah, that is the update. It is 7.30 p.m. and I am probably going to stay up until 2 a.m. reading this book. You need this book in your life. I'm gonna keep reading. <laughs> you guys if you can't tell i am very sleepy it's like 11 30 and i haven't stopped reading um so fun fact about me i am not a night person like I like to sleep like at 10 o'clock and this has definitely been challenging for me however um i've been loving this book that's why i wanted to finish it today because i just want to get to the end and i feel like i'm on a mission and i just need to know what happens i'm on page 266 honestly this book is a masterpiece literally like i don't have words it's just so good i feel like so many things have happened and you just like go into this world like this 70s world where you get like to experience everything that the main characters experience so many things happen there's so many um illegal substances um i i cannot say this on youtube but you get what i'm saying um and that's like a lot of the book just so you know and what's been honestly keeping me up and motivated is been talking to crystal and sarah about this book um <laughs> so funny i had never like buddy read anything with anyone so it's it's awesome i am pretty <gasps> Crystal just sent me the cast for Daisy Jones and the Six and <gasps> Okay, you know the guy from like Me Before You, I think that's a movie, like the very sad movie. Um, his name is Sam Playflin. He's playing the main male character, what? I did not know this. Great timing, great timing. Now I'm pumped, okay. 
Okay guys, last update for tonight. Um, I have like 60-50 pages left, which I'm gonna read tomorrow because I am just falling asleep. But not because the book is bad or boring, I'm just really tired. I will talk to you tomorrow and I will give you my full review. I was not expecting to cry. Honestly, I was not expecting to cry. I, I like did my makeup in the morning, um, and I just couldn't help it. Like I love that book so much. You guys, I cannot express how much I love this book. <sighs> if you if you haven't read this book, what are you doing? Like what was I doing? You just need to read the book and just like um to give you not like a sneak peek but just to tell you if it has like a happy ending or not people ask me that a lot so i feel like yes it does have like an overall happy ending it does have like a little sad part but honestly i cried because it was so beautiful like the story and how it ended it was just so beautiful there's a little plot twist at the end which had me immediately crying you guys this was a fucking whole experience i i i loved making this so much so yeah this book is an obvious five out of five stars i i don't think i needed to say it but five out of five stars stay tuned because i am doing another reading vlog on twisted love probably going to um add twisted games so stay tuned thank you crystal and sarah for buddy reading this with me so yeah subscribe down below for more because i am definitely going to do so many more reading vlogs thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye.